Hello, my name is Kelly Ansley and I'm the director of the East Georgia State College Library. Today I'm going to provide you with a brief tutorial on how to create an Excel sheet that tracks the stocks that you have purchased for your um, group stock challenge. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Excel. Once you've opened Excel, you want to type stock name in column A, stock symbol in column B, number of shares in column C, initial price per share in column D, initial cost invested in column E, current price per share in column F, current value in column G, gain loss in H, and percent gain loss in I. Then you're going to fill in the information that you have. So you should have your stock names, the stock symbols, the number of shares you purchased, the initial price per share, and the current price per share for whatever day is the last day of your project. To calculate the initial cost invested, you are going to hit the equal symbol, and then we're going to multiply the initial price per share times the number of shares you bought. So you're going to put in the corresponding column and row. So D2, use the asterisk sign for multiplication, and C2, and then hit enter. So we had bought 10 shares at $46.18 per share for a total cost invested of $461.80. Now, to do something really easy, instead of putting in all those values for your next stocks, you can drag and drop this fill box and it will automatically do it for you. So now you can see all the different amounts that you invested initially. The next thing we're going to do is calculate the current value. To calculate the current value, you're going to multiply your current price per share by your number of shares purchased. So again, you're going to put in that equal symbol and you're going to do F2 asterisk um, C2 and hit enter. So you can see that the current value as of today is $505.50. So again, click on the box, drag and drop the fill line to the bottom so that it automatically calculates the rest of them for you. Now we're going to calculate our gain or loss. To do this, you'll put in the equal symbol, and now we're going to subtract the initial cost invested from the current value. So you're going to put in G2 minus E2 and hit enter. And so that will tell you whether you gained money or you lost money. Again, you're going to drag and drop this fill line down so it automatically does it for you. If something appears in parentheses, that means that it's a negative number and you lost money. To figure out the percentage of gain or loss, you click in the box, do your equal symbol, and this time we are going to divide the initial cost invested by your gain or loss. So you'll put in H2 and then divide it by E2 and hit enter. And then again, you're going to drag and drop this fill line so it does it for the rest of them. Okay, so as you can see, we gained 9% for Coca-Cola, we gained 3% for Home Depot, we lost 4% for Target, and we gained 1% for Walmart. So the next thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to make a graph. So you're going to choose what information you want to be in your graph. So if we want our stock name, and then we want the initial price per share. Um, you would highlight your stock name, hold down the control key, highlight your initial price per share column, and then say we want our initial cost invested, the current price per share, and your current value. You can go ahead and highlight those. Once you have done that, go up to insert, and we're going to go over here to charts. So click on this little arrow, and then we can kind of see, you know, which kind of chart we want. If you click on all charts, you're going to get uh, a lot more options. So there is one for stock, 
Um, or you can stick with the line graph and maybe you want the line with markers and then hit OK. So here's our chart. The blue line is the Coca-Cola Company, orange is Home Depot, gray is Target, and yellow is Walmart. And it shows you right here, here's your initial price per share for Home Depot, and then we went up here for the initial cost invested. The current price per share is here, or the current value. So you can also change this around. So if you don't really care for this particular chart, you can certainly choose a different chart. or colors. And you can also switch rows or columns. You can also change the chart type if you don't care for that one. Maybe we want this one instead. So this shows us that the blue line is the initial price per share. Orange is the initial cost invested. Gray is the current price per share, and yellow is the current value. So you can play around with your different charts and choose one that you care for. You could do um, a radar or um, a bar chart. And then you can copy and paste this into a Word document when you're done. So that's a very brief tutorial for um, Excel spreadsheets and how to keep track of stock prices.